and welcome back even on uh, what is a uh, well, what is a Tuesday here in case you forgot the day I almost did uh, anyways we got the Garden's God of our Pro League gonna be coming at you resuming action today even uh, obviously earlier today we had Bad Monkey Gaming versus Willow Keeper and to say the least BMG taking care of business as they took the series two games to nothing a pretty quick one at that so Willow Keeper as you see here trying to respond well against uh, against another great team of course, in Sync Esports, Sync Esports, uh, it's them and BMG are competing for the top place right now in the Carnage Cut of our Pro League. Not a big surprise there, but at the same time, Willow Keeper, they've shown great signs of life throughout this event so far. Again, though, if things go like they were earlier today, then, uh, then, then it may be difficult. So we'll have to wait and see, obviously, how it all turns out. With that said, bring CBK here, of course. I am going to be joined by Co Caster. He actually went AFK real quickly. Uh, okay, looks like he might be back. I'm going to give him a call right here. And uh, hopefully all their things should be good to go as soon as he gets the answer on. But uh, I am going to be joined by Stroyfutter. Stroyfutter. It's been a little bit since we've seen him around. Um, there we go. I think we should be good. Stroyfutter, are you there? Hello? 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 Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Nice. Cool. <laughs> it works. Skype actually works. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Uh, it yeah. usually does. It usually does. So, uh, anyways, uh, good to have you here. I was just introducing the teams and everything, but uh, and also yourself. Uh, so, welcome to the cast. Nice. Yeah, I'm really glad to be here. I wanted to cast an uncast for so long, but unfortunately, <laughs> it never really happened. You know. Well, now know, it has. But... <laughs> yeah. Now it is. I should say. So, I uh, know. Excited <laughs> to have you here. Uh, you know, you, you've been around the scene for a while. Uh, currently, I don't believe you're playing right now. I mean, are you kind of just? Uh, hanging out for now and seeing what happens or yeah i kind of stepped back from the competitive scene i don't know i just uh since i i joined the university i didn't really have time to practice anymore and i mm -hmm. got a little worse and <laughs> when i was in shape couldn't really play matchmaking and all that yeah and i don't know i tried with with uh the, the new excellent with pew and all those and kge and mm -hmm. uh but it didn't really work out I don't know, we had some kind of trouble with the language because they were always talking Swedish and were annoyed by me when I was saying, guys, can you please talk English? I am German. <laughs> I, I mean, don't understand that's you. fair. That's a fair complaint. <laughs> Communication's kind of important in this game, so. Uh, yeah. All right, well, but again, we, at least you're here casting and that's what matters for now, so uh, good to have you here once yeah. again. Um, anyways, we are, we are obviously moving along in this draft, so let's take a quick look here. Uh, the first thing that was started, it was Madman, Kronos, Bubbles, and Puppet Master. So kind of interesting bands, more so that Madman band. Uh, I will say, though, Willow Keeper, they, they have been known to play that Madman every now and then. Definitely a go-to hero of theirs, so just some insight there. But then the pick's coming along. I mean, well, what are you looking at in this draft here, Story Footer? Well... When I look at drafts, I'm always interested if it's a if it's a ban or a pick that is like either respect ban or a ban because that pick would kind of screw up the strategy. Mm -hmm. And when I see Flensmeister banning Madman, uh, you said that Madman is like a to go hero for a uh, tree. Yeah. And I know that Boxy is playing a really strong bubbles. Uh, at least I've seen that in the in the past. Um, it might be some kind of taking away their powerful heroes, or like the heroes where they are strong with. Yeah. And I think Kronos and Puppet Master bands are kind of obvious since those heroes are just immense powerful. Um, Empire, Ophelia, Benzing, Parasite, Warbeast, not too sure. I think most of them are like uh, just heroes they don't want to deal with. Yeah, a mix of that. And the Riftwalker, definitely one that stands out there. But again, we were talking about this earlier. Willowkeeper, uh, in fact, uh, a highlight play that I posted on the Honcast YouTube recently was Root of Z as Willow or as Riftwalker. It was actually against BMG the first time they played them in the season. And, oh, my God, it was one of the biggest plays we've had in a long, long time. So, uh, <laughs> okay. yeah, he, he knows what he's I doing with that, that hero. Damn. Oh, I, I recommend checking it out. Again, it's on the YouTube.com <laughs> slash Honcast. It's, uh, I think it's called, like, the Root of Z Riftwalker play. Uh, anyways, it was pretty epic. But the point being, he knows what he's doing with the hero, so. Oh, it's kind of understandable there, and kind of that respect band idea. But how about these picks? Obviously, we're just about finished up. Uh, Six got their five, including the Bombardier. We saw Bombardier twice earlier today for BMG uh, coming out here for Sync as well. Uh, what do you think about their lineup overall? I think Legion has a really strong lineup, and I know that Kisu is playing a really damn strong Bombardier. Uh, he knows what he's doing with that hero. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he even, you know, Bombardier is a relatively old hero, and I used to play that. But he, I, last time I checked the stream for like a week, he explained something about Bombardier that was completely new for me, that you have to place the airstrike just so you can get even more damage out of it. I was hmm. pretty, I was pretty amazed. So <laughs> when you see Dragon Master, Bombardier, Pebbles, Engineer, Torturer, I think 
this is like a team that just wants to fight early. Oh yeah. And maybe that's also why they banned Reforker, because Reforker is really good against some kind of push or tower pressure. Mm -hmm. The ultimate is so good. Um, still, they have a Flux, Hag, plus Magnus, so they are, they are good to go to defend towers, I think. The ultimate alone can do that. Yeah, counter pushing definitely comp. Now, well, how about that pick though? Valkyrie to finish things off, and it's actually going to be more of a support Valkyrie here. And what it looks like, uh, I mean, it looks like we're possibly going to be seeing some try versus try lane action, or at least that might be yeah. an idea here. Yeah, yeah, I think so as well. Not sure if the Valkyrie is support or the Magnus. Well, it's being um, played. Valkyrie is being played by Root of Z, and he is their secondary support. I mean, Boxy is obviously oh, okay. on Magnus here, so that would yeah, lead okay. to believe. Yeah, it's going to be more the secondary support, but yeah, that that is kind of an awkward secondary support with that said. Not your everyday <laughs> support yeah. option. Actually, actually, I remember a strategy I was running with uh, Insania back in the IG days, mm -hmm. where he played Valkyrie, I played Magnus short lane, and he was support Valkyrie, secondary support, and the lane was to, like, I start farming, and Valkyrie Magnus is a killer lane. Usually you get all the kills on the suicide, like, it's really difficult for him to get away from that or to survive that lane. Yeah. Um, and he was just uh, kind of sitting at the pool camp while I lane because Magnus is, if he has some kind of level advantage, real strong in a 1v1. So we win the lane, I get a quick PK, and then I roam on the map while he goes uh, to become the carry, and then he farms. Um, I doubt that he will do that in Valkyrie here, but I think it's a valid strategy that can work. Yeah. Yeah, well, see, I mean, they, they are known for, they, they this has kind of been a growing trend to an extent, kind of that secondary support doing maybe some creep wave pulling, getting some farm in the jungle a little bit, and yeah, almost becoming more of that uh, carry kind of hero. And in this case, this support Valkyrie could definitely have that somewhat of a carry presence uh, in, in the mid to even late game stage, depending on that farm. So yeah, it, it's going to be interesting to see, obviously, how she develops. Uh, I will say, too, noticing uh, the heroes here and who's playing well, Boxy on Magnus, this guy in general, he, he's definitely become kind of the new we don't know what to expect of him kind of player uh he, his item builds the heroes that he plays sometimes especially his item builds though i mean the last time he played magnus i believe he ended up not going portal key until later on he went first like a helm what? of the black legion uh into it was okay. something else i almost think he went a behemoth star first or something like that it was some awkward build that just it was a little bit different so uh yeah you say what it's like exactly it's like portal key just seems pretty core on here like magnus but <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've actually I've actually seen the helm build from him because I was casting with Skysor from uh, the top five place, and he went okay. that build, and I was there again. What? Why are you not getting a PK? Yeah, you could wreck them. Um, what what I would like to mention is if you play a Valkyrie secondary support, I would recommend setting up the lanes that you can always land an arrow or to follow it up. I mean, do you have a Magnus that is like? one of the best eras to set up something, mm -hmm. but Hag doesn't really do that, and Flex neither. Now, as you said that, okay, I was going to say, Flex initially was headed bottom, but I wonder if that was just simply, you know, he just happened to be going that way, or if that was kind of a, just a last second change, like, you know what, let's do Magmus as part of the trial lane, but sure enough, Magmus is sitting down here, and exactly, you know, you think of classic combinations, I mean, it doesn't get more classic than this, Valkyrie, Magmus, uh, obviously two Dota 4 heroes initially, and uh, here they are in Heroes of New Earth, and it, it, the, the synergy of the two definitely is very, very powerful, so um, they are going to yeah, end up down definitely. here in an aggressive. Now, Rhapsody is kind of the question her, with her, she's actually all the way back at base right now, so. She will go mid, probably. Yeah, so more of a, just an aggressive dual lane then, uh, so Tree kind of is playing the smart. Yeah. Because cause they know Sync is expecting a trial lane bottom. Um, and they put the drunk in against that. I think uh, Tree is kind of rotating, so they do a 1 2 2 to get more out of the mid lane. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's really good because Bombardier can't really do much. Like, if he gets caught, he will probably die because he has no escape and no really. not really a stun. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm curious how good the, the pebbles will work out. I think he should he should be in a in a good spot here in the tri lane top. He will get a lot of farm, the quick PKs, team with all that, and he will do a lot in the mid game. I mean Hag, Rhapsody, Valkyrie, <laughs> all those heroes are dying pretty quickly to a pebbles combo. Uh -huh.
So but I like what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, they also get to the, the point then of, ooh, actually, Hag does need to be careful. You look what they're doing. They're cutting through the trees. Yeah. Uh, Panny, by the way, playing the torch right here. Obviously, he's ringing in place his lap tier, as you can tell. So, and there we go. So, Lagmats come out. The chain reactions to follow. The keg's down perfectly landed. Now, she does have her blink. She's going to blink. Where the hell is she? Okay, she blinked down. <laughs> I lost track of her even. And in the end, she is going to make the escape. That was a very good choice by Balthazar uh, to blink yeah, where he that did. that was smart. That was really smart by him. So no bloodlust kill as a result, and obviously oh. that is very important. Oh, they really want this, but yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> He's playing too safe. So now, uh, you know, it's understandable. It's actually middle lane bombardier, a lot of pressure. Uh, going to be fine. Yeah. That's it's understandable. They wanted to hang around, maybe go for a bloodlust kill. You know, they tried. It doesn't work out. How quickly do you think Sink needs to make an adjustment here? Send one of the supports mid, maybe? I would say they should wait a little bit more. Um, the Pebbles can't 1v1 against Hag. Well, okay, he can if he gets a lot of creeps, but they don't really want... Uh, they don't want the hack to get free farm on the lane where they initially wanted to try lane. Yeah. So I guess they try to kill her for some time and then I would say they should rotate with both as soon as Pebbles gets Steam Boots. Pebbles will get Steam Boots really quick because usually Pebbles gets every single asset on the lane <laughs> since he has so much base damage. Mm -hmm. And the then idea. they should just go and get the kills. I mean, go mid, then go top, then go mid, then go top. The Drunken is fine bottom, he doesn't need help. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of that, Flint's Meister, of course, on the Drunken Master. Yeah, you know, he's doing he's doing enough right here. Actually, Valkyrie going to be roaming over a little bit. Runs into Bombardier as he's attempting to stack the Yellow Camp, which he successfully does. Uh, we'll see when that's eventually done. Bottom lane back down there. Magnus actually stunning away as Drunken realizing Valkyrie's missing and going a little bit extra aggressive as a result. So, good, uh, good play on his part. But, yeah, you can see Valkyrie is trying to be a little active here, but obviously was spotted, so no gink going to be coming out successfully at least uh, in the end. I assume though Flux is having a great time at the same time. Yeah, 15 and 5 right now coming out for Kraka. And again, I, I know uh, you know Minimag and I you talk about this all the time. And he's the one that brought it up initially. We've seen it now several times. This Kraka guy on Flux especially, he loves to go in sanitary. It's versus actually top lane. We might see the bloodless kill coming. And we do. Wretched Ag will fall this time around. So obviously the level is a little bit higher. Um, not the level 1s like they were earlier and thus enough damage to get the kill. But I was also going to say, though, Insanitaria seems to be a priority item here for Flux, uh, played by Krake, so I wonder if he's going to go out here again. Or I mean, would you rather just see the portal key in the end, or can you understand that? It depends. It's situational what you should get. Um, Flux is one of those heroes that don't produce too well with items. I mean, you could get a PK, but you have a very low mana pool. You can get other items. The thing is, the Magnetic Surge scales with Strange. And then Centarius gives you very early a lot of HP yeah. and a lot of strange. That means you will survive a lot in team fights plus deal a lot of damage. And you can just soak those kind of uh, heroes like Pebbles and Bombardier onto you, slow them, and they can't really do anything about it. So it's kind of a control. The thing is, I think Legion has too much, so it would it will not help. Like they have too much damage, they still can kill them. So, but they also can't really combo anything with the PK. I mean, yeah. obviously, a PK ultimate on Flux, then Magnus stun following up ulti and, I don't know, Rhapsody on Floor and all the shit. But uh, that will take some farm on all those heroes. And they, as I said, it's situational, depending on how much farm he gets. If they if they get really good farm on Magnus and he gets the PK, he can go in Centaurus because then they have the initiation on Magnus. Mm -hmm. but if Magnus doesn't and Legion is causing a lot of pressure, I would actually go for the PK. Yeah. Depending. All right, well, we'll see what Cracky eventually does go for again. He, he seems like the insane Terry seems to be a go-to for him, but yeah, maybe because of the circumstances here, perhaps could change it up. But I will say, too, Drunken Master. I mean, this is a guy that's, you know, really was in a 1v2 lane. Obviously, Valkyrie doing a little bit of roam and thus making it a 1v1. But look at Flensmeister, man. Nearly 300 gold per minute, and he's level 5 already. Uh, is this a little surprising to you? The fact that it's actually hold that thought that Raptor in the meantime in the middle lane dropping pretty quickly right here. In comes the Sticky Bomb. He's standing on the dance floor knowing that's probably his only chance to heal up, but it's not enough. He does go down. Torture trying to survive. One more Nice juke into the woods right there. The chain reaction is going to miss if that hit. That probably was a counter kill at least, but at least he does stay alive at the same time. So very, very close, but still a kill coming out for Sync. But yeah, again, bottom lane though, Drunken Master, he's having a great time. Yeah, he definitely one it's drunken though i think he's just so sick on the lane oh wow I mean, now they're going but 
Is you it see it. enough? <laughs> no, the leaping in. The auto attack needs one more, but uh, he's going to juke and jive. In comes the discard for another. There's the auto attack. Not enough still. He's going to stagger through and finally, <laughs> finally will fall. So as I... Kind of, well, that's something you'll learn, Story of Butter, if you do cast more, too. The caster's curse is a real thing. Caster's curse. So. <laughs> you mean now that I mentioned that he's doing really good on the lane? Exactly. <laughs> and now he's dead. Yeah. Well, they, they, they use so much to gank him. I mean, uh, it's it's fine that he dies there. I mean, he almost... He, he, he is making so much trouble for Hellbond, because they need to shut him down. Drunken is one of those heroes that can produce immensely with very cheap gold, or very cheap items. Like, uh, you get, you know, he gets Ghost Mattress, you're like, fuck. Mm -hmm. His stagger is gonna do so much damage, and his auto attacks and the launch combo. Yeah. So they, as long as he doesn't have that, Magnus is okay on the lane. But as soon as he gets it, there's no way Magnus can lane against him anymore. Mm -hmm. the, th the thing is, the Magnus is uh, a hero that... Oh, bot lane. Yeah, they're actually... Nice oh, arrow. nice. Five-second arrow, though, exactly. They were going for the kill. Now, Torture being nearby, so it's kind of a back and forth. Torture being there actually prevented Drunken Mass from going down to the end, but, yeah, you could tell what uh, Tree was going for, and that goes back to the idea of the synergy of these two heroes. Magma sets up the arrows done very, very well, uh, as we saw right there. But look at Drunken Mass speaking of him once again. The leap comes out. Got it off in time before the chain reactions as Drunken Master will have to then walk away. Meanwhile, the top lane, Insania diving the tower big time. Gets the kill. Looks like Pebbles obviously getting assist right there. But Balthazar continuing to have trouble at the top side. And I mean trouble, man. He only has four creep kills. He's still over four. And he has two deaths now on top of that. So <laughs> Balthazar, I was actually talking about this earlier. He's actually the third highest gold farmer in all of Cycle 2 so far in the Carnage and Cotter, as far as GPM average goes. Yet he's sitting here with 78 gold per minute. <laughs> not uh, <laughs> not going as planned, is safe to say. Well, not kind of. I mean, he's he, they know he's probably going to suicide. So, yeah. And playing against the Pebbles try lane kind of is relatively difficult, let's say it like <laughs> that, because they have so much kill potential. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess level 4 is actually quite fine for him. Um, Hack is a comeback hero and level 6 hero. That means she doesn't need any items to be really efficient mm -hmm. in the game. Uh, yeah. So it's it's okay for them to sacrifice the Hack. They need farm on Magnus though. Magnus has team boots now and they need to shut down the Drunken. The thing is what I was going to say before is the Magnus is uh, has really good level 6 potential. With that I want to say is when he stuns the, the Drunken and uh, the arrow falls up and he channels will be, it's almost always a secure kill. That's why I like this, that here on the short lane, or the, the solo short lane, more or less, because you can get level 6 so quickly, and it's always a kill, yeah. or it was at least for us. Uh, the thing is, Drunken ulti blocks the arrow, so yep. they ha can't do a, a big thing. That is important to know. Yeah, exactly. Just like, you know, we've seen with, like, Diva hooks and whatnot. So um, the, the same idea is there now. He doesn't have it yet. He is level 7, but, of course, you know, he passes up the untouchable. This isn't, you know, out of the ordinary by any means. It's... Pretty typical, I believe it's safe to say, but actually, again, worth noting that it doesn't have it now. In the meantime, once again, they're all coming through, but the stagger just in time. I thought he was almost going to walk right back into it, but he got the stagger off. It's going to be fine, but Torture now in a lot of trouble. Gets caught up to the side. He was doing the uh, creep pull right there. He does eventually go down as the supports run into him, and now here go Flensmeister. That was kind of an awkward lunge. He is going to be gone on the eruption. Being channeled, the ports are coming in eruption. It's going to be enough for the kill. No, it's now the stagger away. Stalagmites come out. They miss, though. Good job of Magnus getting away initially. He gets the kill that he was looking for, but now Pebbles here for revenge. Nice leap from Valkyrie at the same time. Gets away from the damage of the uh, Chuck right there from Pebbles, but it's not done just yet. More action continues. Flux coming oh. in. The Magnus not just out of range, and that may backfire right here. The arrow hits Torture as he ports in, but out comes the Stalagmites. Now it hits Flux. He is tanky at full life at the beginning of this, so that could backfire against the Legion team now if they're not careful with the support still hanging around. Flux going to hold his ground again, showing how tanky he really is. There's a chunk of torture going into No Man's Land right there, and yes, down goes Flux in the end. So tanky, but not tanky enough in the big picture. A good fight by Willow Keeper, though, I will say, but end result maybe in favor of Sync. Yeah, uh, I think if Magnus done what I fit amazing for them mm -hmm. for them because then uh, legion would not have been able to turn kill i think yeah um it was still i'm not sure who got ahead in that fight but it was at least equal 
Yeah, the Pebbles obviously uh, getting yeah. the assist at the end, him staying alive. The, the biggest deal you could argue, 420 goal per minute now. And he does have that PK coming. Bottom lane again, though, Drunken Master, the arrow, two and a half seconds just about. He is going to be able to stack away. There's a lunge trying to buy the distance, and it will be enough. Uh, in the end, so he is obviously going to be able to stay alive. And now Pebbles coming it back, but Magma is just a little bit too far away. Uh, I, I do got to bring this up because I was talking about you were talking about the power of Untouchable. The fact that he chose not to level it up here, um, do you maybe second guess that as that may be a hindsight thing here? In the end, mm, I'm not too sure. I would probably not get it either. I would probably get it now in level eight. Because now the, the early mid game is starting in those kind of small team fights. Yeah. I guess I guess he was he was more like um, uh, when they actually do the combo with Magnus Stan channeling ulti Valkyrie arrow hitting like two or three seconds, then he will die anyway, so he doesn't really need it. And this way they can get more kill potential. That means if someone of the Legion support comes to gank, they can easily get a kill on someone. Yeah. Um I think it's fine how he... Yeah, he, he got level 8 and got untouchable with that. That's how I would have done it as well. Okay. Um, yeah. He gets it right there. And obviously very low in life is going to be heading back to base right now. So, you know, a little bit of, uh, he could say, almost BM there in the meantime. <laughs> so that pause is actually bottom lane. Any, a.k.a. Mickey, goes in. He just got that portal key and he uses it immediately to take out Magnus. That's what you love to see. With a uh, with a situation like uh, Pebbles, obviously, so good play from Mickey coming out right there. Um, but uh, I, I also, you know, I'm looking at Magnus. Speaking of him dying, and you see what he has. He has a bracer actually being picked up here. Not your everyday. Nice leap from Rudis. See, this guy knows how to react, man. He is on the ball with that, yeah. so <laughs> it's going to be fine in the end. It's Mickey Davian, but goes the bracer. Is that going to turn into an astrolabe, or maybe is that just hopefully for? Taking up a little bit, but you, you still you can even easily argue is that worth it? But he wants it here. It's it's the boxy Magnus. We don't know. Yep. <laughs> um, one thing I want to mention is it's um, the what they did bottom was really good from from Legion. They know exactly which target they have to focus because they use Bombardier Ulti plus Ma uh, the the Pebbles combo to kill the Magnus. And the Magnus is the target they need to shut down right now. Because mm -hmm. he's the one, as soon as he gets the PK, and he's far from it, then um, they can't really roam around on the map that freely anymore. And that's what I said when it's situational for Flux to get uh, the PK or not. Because if Magnus can't get it, he needs to get it. Mm -hmm. At least one of the two. But again, right now, it's, and again, we'll keep an eye on Flux right here. At least he does have a thousand gold saved up. And so may possibly be going towards that uh, idea of the portal key for the initiation purpose. But um, again, it wouldn't be out of the question if he doesn't, especially knowing who's playing it. But Magnus, actually, in the meantime, he is doing some triple stack ancients. So he's uh, ideally going to get some good farm right here uh, with that. Pebbles top lane, if they had vision here in this lane, this would probably be at least a dead Rhapsody. But luckily for him, they do not. Granted, he might be in trouble right here. He he's going to go for a stack. Oh, boy. Is Pebbles? Is Pebbles he... got spotted. Oh, he got. Oh, okay. I apologize. Okay, that makes sense then. <laughs> I was like, why is he falling back? That was an easy kill. I the Archer saw him. Okay. Now he's baiting it with the illusion. Yep. Look at that. Mickey. So he knows. <laughs> Probably knows. <laughs> he's trying to get them to to take take the bite, but at the same time, it's a hag and a rhapsody. Uh, both are under leveled and under farmed to an extent, so it's, they're not willing to commit either. So playing yeah. it very safe is safe to say. Oh, um, yeah, no, this is this yep. is good for help on right now. Like, uh, they can get farm out of the mid lane. The Legion is not getting kills. So, they're trying to get a fight top. I don't know why Magnus is there. He's the one who should really be farming. Um, the problem is Flax can't really do much. Like, if they initiate top and there's a Flax instead of a Magnus there, there's nothing Flax can do to save his teammates. Mm -hmm. While Magnus can stun two or three people, which is can be really big. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be big here for the Hellboy. In fact, now Pebbles says it, but he gets hit by Magnus as he does. Now they do get the initial kill. Auto Rhapsody, energy field is down in the background. Obviously, Airstrike assisting. Okay, so uh, we saw that kind of brewing the whole time. Now they spotted the Valkyrie Prism being used with the Ward of Sight, so they knew they were coming. They even threw a Rev Ward down the last second. Pebbles was actually baiting with his illusion. You could tell Willow Keeper actually took the bait, but the real Pebbles jumped in as they were going to stun the fake Pebbles. And thus he got stunned. So I think that it was still that actually worked out okay for Willow Keeper for how uh, how badly that could have been as that was how it was setting up. So, but in the end, yeah. it's still a kill for Sync Esports uh, when it's all said and done. But that was damn damn close to the end. But there we go. He gets another kill. Bottom lane is pushed in by Drunken. 
Yeah, well, they come at a cost, though. They're going to chase him. Untouchable is down now. In comes release. The Magma Stunt does hit. And at least they kill Flinsmeister in the end. So getting I think that kill, that, that's actually a good trade for Helbon, since they need gold right now to get the core items, speaking of uh, portal key. Mm -hmm. So the trade tower for hero kill is actually okay for Helbon. But you are t totally right on top lane. Like, uh, it could have been a, a lot worse for Hellborn. Like, they just killed the Rhapsody. Yeah. But um, that was just a really good ward by Insania. Because he, he knew that something like that will happen. Yep. So, well played by him. Yeah, it's obviously a very effective tool with Valkyrie, you know, especially being more of the support kind of role. Valkyrie Prism is a great uh, offensive tool as well as defensive for getting away, of course, and the global aspect of it. So, again, you get the idea of trying to use it right there, but obviously not enough in the end. Now, Flux does get that portal key, so yeah. um, he has it. And it almost looks like Magmus is also saving up for the portal key, so they, in the end they both may end up getting it here. For that, uh, for that jump purpose. Is that a little almost overkill, you think? Or are you fine with them just both getting it in the end? I think it's really good, actually. Since the Flux initiation is like, they have, he has a slow, but not really a, a initial stun. Mm -hmm. That means they can still pop Engineer Ulti, uh, Torture, Impalement, Pebbles combos, Bombardier shit, Flensmeister uh, on Drunken can just stagger away. So the combo would be like, the, the flex goes in and the mag magma stuns. I would not even channel ultimate. All but right. uh, I, I think it's I think it's really important actually that the magma gets the PK. Also, it makes it harder for Legion to stay on the map because they know they have two PKs. That means as soon as you walk into a, a, a chance of being in a ward of sight, mm -hmm. that means you're also a, a high chance that you actually get killed because if Magnus initiates on you, there's a hack and Valkyrie and Flux with the PK, so they all can do a really good follow up and have the damage to actually kill one. Now, Drunken Master, uh, it kind of interesting here. He's 0 3 and 0, so you'd figure he might be struggling. Not really, I mean, he's 300 gold per minute still, uh, despite the hero kill stat not being the best. And he has about 1200 gold saved up. Uh, I pose a question to you with this now. Y you know, Drunken Master and Pebbles, both pretty good Souls Bower candidates. Uh, do you think it makes sense to get it on Drunken here and maybe a Shrunken Head or something like that on Pebbles instead? Since the Hellborn team is pretty much 100% match a team fight, I would just rush. On both trunk and I think, because okay. you can always, uh, you know, I'm one of those who's not always going for uh, the shrunken head. You know, if you remember my warbies, I was always refusing to get the shrunken, <laughs> and go for maximum damage, and just yeah. touch everything. It can work. Uh, the thing is, oh mid lane. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. Now he waited for the stun initially. He does get the stalagmites. The chain reactions hits, but the Valkyrie prism was used. But it's a good response by Seek at the same time. They know it was. And they're not going to continue to chase into nothingness. So Pebbles, he's a little bit of a friend, but yeah, going to be fine. So at least they baited out a decent cooldown right there in the end. Well, you could say so. But yeah, you like the idea of sharking heads on both. Yeah, yeah it it's just like. as soon as they get it, it's not really anything Hellbun can do against them. Um, yeah, you know, Drunken could go for for Bulwark. I mean, he has a Vestman. Mm -hmm. That's like, that's he should definitely get one. Like. <laughs> There's no way around that against 100% magic damage. Yeah. The thing is, uh, the Drunken can dodge so much from the Hellbone team. I mean, Hag's slow from ultimate is the only thing he can't really dodge, plus the Lava Surge from Magmus, the ultimate from Magmus, and the release from Flux. The rest he can dodge with ultimate, so you can argue that uh, he can get a Bulwark. Mm -hmm. But I would, I would go for the safe route and get a Shrunken. The thing is, if he gets Bulwark, he can also farm faster. That means he will get the Shrunken quicker. But I think Legion wants to fight, so Shranken I would recommend. Yeah. All right, well, whew, speaking of portal keys, I mean, Magnus gets hit, so we talked about that, but how about Engineer? Insania knows how to farm in these supports and uh, does that here. He's playing more of the secondary support, sure, but still has the portal key steam boots already on, a, on an Engineer. Not too shabby, 17 and a half minutes in. That's a very good uh, it's farm. It's really, really strong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so has that now. You also see Drunken Master. He's been clearing out these both of these camps were triple stacked, I believe. Uh, he's just starting to finish them off now. He's actually getting low. He needs to be a little careful of that. Uh, but uh, in the end, should be. Oh my God, he is living life on the edge, man. <laughs> really low, but <laughs> no, he is fine and and uh, even continues to farm. But he has 2,400 gold now saved up. So it looks like he may very possibly be going for that shrunken head, uh, as you recommended. Obviously, we already know Pebbles 
also going to be going for that. Speaking of more defensive Damn. tanky items, there's a sack stone picked up by uh, Keizu in the meantime. And that bombardier. So get some. Is yeah, it, yeah go ahead. always good to have. I guess. Is it? I mean, well, uh, you know, you, we're looking at the Hellborn team. You, you, you just mentioned how it's just so much magic threat. Is it still so? It's still worth it, though. You think the sack stone? Mm, I would say yes, since uh, the bombardier can't really. Uh, he will not get a shrunken in time because the legion team wants to fight as soon as they hit the shrunkens. Mm. Um, that means he's just going for team support, and I mean auto hits are always auto hits, and they will always come. So you can't have an, enough more armor, I guess, especially in the the early levels. So yeah. it it is more like it's gonna help now a lot and will be not that useful later on. Yeah, that's that's fair. And again, obviously the AOE aspect of it. So that, that's exactly the thing to keep in mind. Even though it's not the most physical, threatening team, it, auto attack damage, mitigating that throughout those fights and everything is obviously good to have. Now top lane, they do jump. Wretched Aggro, they're nice energy field as well. The air strike comes out just in case they want to go for a turn, and they might actually. I wouldn't be surprised if Pebbles was actually Magma. So he dies in boxy being crazy as always. Very low on life, but he wants to set up a kill. But now Flux with a nice follow-up. He is dropping, though. The arrow coming out, but the creeps take the damage. They are still chasing, though. And now Pebbles, yes, he is in a lot of trouble. The full support is here. He's tanking it up. Will he be tanking up? Portal key away from Engineer. The Chuck away says, get off me, bro. Magnus has a stun coming up in four seconds. Is it going to be in time? It should. Yes, not even necessary. As the release gets the kill from Krake. So <laughs> it took a lot, a lot of time, sure. But they do get the big kill onto uh, Mickey, including stopping a streak. Nice bonus gold for uh, Flux right there in the end. But uh, bottom push happening in the meantime. Oh, <laughs> well then, <laughs> torture is low on life and Wretched Agnes guarantees the kill, but it might come at a cost actually. A couple more auto attacks, just enough juke. Oh. No, the stagger. So oh. not worth it. That's unfortunate. Yeah. No, that's definitely not worth it. It was really well played by Hellbound team. They executed it perfectly top. I mean, the they Legion team had the chance to turn kill on Flux, but he sidestepped it. So, um, and in the end, I think Pebbles was really close to, to uh, PK away, mm -hmm. but Magnus realized that and used the steam bath, good presence of mind, to, to stop the PK and okay. uh, give his team a little bit more time. He, he, like, he sacrificed his chasing to cancel the PK, and that was good. Mm -hmm. No, that's, that's, yeah, very, I didn't even catch that, so glad you brought that up, because obviously a very smart, uh, smart play right there indeed coming out from Boxy, but in the end... Obviously, they got the kill, but the end result to overall, especially with Drunken Master getting the kill at the bottom lane, still yeah, that was, doing that fine. was really big by Flux yeah. Master that he got that. I mean, Balthazar, you're getting 1 4 0 oh, now, so 170 gold for him. Obviously, he's higher than he was earlier, but it still needs a bit of time before he's going to be at a very effective state. Uh, you know, he's going to have a level 2 bat blast here in the near future with that set. And with the synergy of this team, that alone does bring a lot to the table. You got Magnus, yeah. Flux, and her. At the, all with those level 2 ultimates can be a lot of a lot of instant damage to yeah. come out. So Yeah, if they get the initiation, they yeah. will win a team fight definitely. But I think Legion will play it too smart to, that they can't get it. Um, what did I want to mention? Um, yeah, the kill on Hag is actually even bigger than, than you think since she is pretty much the hard carry here. She's everything they provide on physical late game, except for something from Flux. But if they shut her down and then they get to Shrunken, there's nothing Hellborn can do mm -hmm. at all. Also not in the late game stages. Yeah. So we are 22 minutes in, and I want to say did... Okay, Pebbles, I think he needs a pattern still. That's why. Yeah, I believe he's bought the Warhammer, but... Uh, just needs a pattern. And Drunken Master just going for the case of uh, right-clicking it without getting any of the... Oh, no, he actually has a Mighty Blade. Excuse me. So <laughs> he, he, he has more than enough to get the full Shrunken Head. But uh, continuing to farm in the process. A little curious about that. But may just simply wait also to get back to base before buying it. Uh, more so of a just-in-case, I guess. But uh, in the end, there you go. Shrunken Head purchased by Pebbles. Again, it's going to be happening for Drunken Master right here. So, you know, you're talking about, again, it's, it's Deez for Willow Keeper delaying it uh, maybe, but at the same time now, now it's where it gets really difficult. They, so even if they get that big initiation off, unless they lock both of them down and somehow do enough damage to kill them before they get the Shrunkens off, it's, uh, it could be pretty dangerous for them here in these yeah, fights. They so they need to kill at least two or three heroes before they can use the spells or items if they wanted to win a fight. Like if they initiate, initiate on Engineer and Bombardier, for example, and kill them both, for them, they can use anything. And they are 
in an okay spot. They still have to reset and run because there's nothing they can do against the Shrunken. But yeah. after the Shrunkens are out, they can go in again. Oh wow, Rhapsody. <laughs> Man, that was a little lucky for him. He just runs in the middle lane, places the Wardasite right next to Pebbles, and then walks away. Just uh, th thankfully for him, again, he was just out of vision, clearly, of uh, of Mickey right there. So <laughs> he does get away, and little did he know how close he was to death, I'm sure. Uh, I'm actually curious, too. So speaking of Wretched Hagen, especially with the way the game's going and knowing that Shrunken Head's how important they are on this Legion team, could you argue she should just go for like, okay, she is going to be going shrunken at herself. So, I mean, that kind of takes away from my whole question. But at the same time, maybe a Hellflower would have been a good option here. Uh, it's really difficult since she needs so much to actually be efficient. I mean, right now she has her ultimate and her bad blast. And that's like damage itself. It doesn't really need an item. The thing is, if she gets shrunken, she's going to get uh, wrecked by the, the drunken. Because, mm -hmm. you know, drunken doesn't really care if you have a shrunken or not. And all the others just going to go for other heroes. So I would I would have went for a Grimoire. Because also, if you get a shrunken, obviously, you are... It, the shrunken is really good against the Engineer and the, the Bombardier and all that. The thing is, if you win a fight and you have a Grimoire, I think you, you can just get so much out of that Grimoire then. So... Uh, Speaking of like farming and nuking waves and counter pushing, yeah, it's, it's it's really difficult though to tell. Like it's one of those situations where you sit like, that, okay, I need I need both. Yeah, I exactly. Just need both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just need both. Just get the both. Flux in the meantime in the middle lane, he's being jumped on. Shrunkenhead goes off as the arrow is about to hit Magnus in the background. He jumps on Engineer, but it was just Engineer with the eruption. The energy field is put down. At least Boxy will get away. Nobody dead just yet. That's kind of the surprising part. And actually, Willowkeeper are going to try to chase them out. You see the Valkyrie Prism is used. They're chasing them out right now, but they do have a bound eye to Engineer, so they got to be careful with that. Magnus stuns in on a Bombardier right there. They pull it back. Pebbles comes back with the Salag Mites. It only hits one. Bombardier is going to be locked in. He throws it in there. That's good. I'm taking you with me. Not so much. He falls. They don't get the kill. Nice tablet right there to torture as well into the arrow. And they get the kill. Very, very effective hold by Willow Keeper right there. They come out with 2 nothing hero advantage. And, and, okay, there was a buyback on a flux. Was that earlier? Yeah. Was, no, he was that, got that was jumped by the pebbles. That's right. Okay, that's right. Oh, more, not really jumped. Like, they just traded hits and at yeah. some point pebbles went for him. It's... It's really good to buy back on Flex, though, since I, I said it before, he doesn't really produce that much with items. Mm -hmm. So using the buyback to win a fight for his team is uh, actually really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, definitely one of those fights for Willow Keeper. Not only just the way the game's going, but a little bit of you know mental state as well. It's like, okay, we just won a pretty big fight right there. You know, We're going to get some more time now, get bigger and better items, including those shrunken heads ourselves. And again, we have that team fight synergy as we clearly showed. Uh, right there to make stuff happen. Now Fluxy kind of ninjas the Hastern right in front of Insania and <laughs> runs away in the meantime. So good take by him. But at the same time, not to put a damper on their situation, you got Sync Esports over here. Uh, Flens Meister, he has got a full shrunken. The Soul's Bulwark, he's going to be working maybe towards finishing his, his demonic at this point. We'll see. Uh, 1,800 more gold saved up on Pebbles. You have a Blessed Orb on Keizu on Bombardier as well. So, you know, their next tier of items are obviously going to just going to start popping up here uh, across yeah. the board. Oh, Magnus, so close. <laughs> Those ancients are scary sometimes. Um, Sinky's for the Pebbles especially. What do you think he should be going for next? Gold he's saving up here. He can he can go for so many items to be efficient. He can pretty much get everything. Obviously not sold since they already have that. Um, I don't know. It's, he can, he can literally get everything. Yeah. He could even go Cleaver and be efficient with that. Even though he doesn't need it at all. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would recommend going for Frostfield since... Mm, yeah, I would actually go for Frostfield. Really? Just okay. Gives, yeah, it gives more damage. Also, uh, the armor is not really what you need there. I mean, uh, he has a Shrunken, so he doesn't care about the magic damage. And if he gets armor now, uh, it's... Also, obviously, really good. Armor is always good. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, they can just the, the frost field can just do so much in a team fight against the Elbow team. If you slow them down and all that, gives yeah. gives the the team more space to to work around that, like bombardier ultimate and all that. It's just uh, um, overall pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then there's a more routine, you know, something like a sheep stick possibly. So, yeah, sheep stick obviously is the 
I mean, cheapstick, everyone can get cheapstick and be really efficient with it. Yeah. Um, the, the thing is, cheapstick is more expensive. I'm not sure if uh, Legion wants to finish early. How much more expensive and, is that? What are we talking about? Sheepstick? I'm double checking right now. 1,000. Okay. 1, Where the hell is it support? Yeah, there we go. That's about, yeah, just under 1,000 gold. More expensive. So, yeah, a little bit more, sure. As far as the cost I mean, goes. No, obvious, ob obviously, if they win a fight and he has the money to either buy yeah. sheep or cross field, I would, I would definitely go for uh, the sheepstick. But I would actually not recommend Hellflower. Because, yeah, he's going for sheepstick. Mm -hmm. That is definitely a really good decision. Um, yeah. As I said, it doesn't really matter. Sheepstick is probably the best. Yeah, uh, it, it's always and just any hero. If you have a portal key, throw yeah. a sheepstick on top of that. It, it's just a, it's a godlike combination. So, um, yeah. But yeah, you're also making the point, sink. You know, definitely in the mindset though of trying to finish off this game sooner than later, especially with the lead that they have now. We get a catch right here in Wretched Agassiz coming up with the invis. In comes the eruption though, coming up. Engineer caught the energy field off though, and Magma's now in a little bit of trouble himself. Obviously, Wretched Ag and Engineer exchanging lives, but here comes more Legion support, including Drunken Master. Magmus gets finished off by Pebbles right there. Boundai drops, and now Drunken Master chasing the Rhapsody. That's more than likely a very dead Rhapsody. As yes, the lunch does connect. So once again, the end result in favor of Sink Esports. And they're still going to pursue right here, including Valkyrie. Oh, she just got hit by the Slagmite. She does not ever leap up right now. She gets chucked back into the teammates of Pebbles and eventually taken out. So good hold initially from Bullet Keeper there a couple minutes ago. This time out of the base, trying to go for a gank, and it backfired, is safe to say. So they do have a couple of buybacks right here. But the question is, do you? Especially with Magmus, he does not have his eruption. Yeah, they're going to give up the tower. and That'll probably be it here, but... Obviously, a huge five for yeah. sync. Yeah, definitely. Now they're going to fall back from here and continue to farm once again. But yeah, going to the point, though, definitely looking to finish off this game. And like I said, sooner than later, just simply because they have a good lead right here. And, you know, late game potential on the Hellborn side, especially with the hack. Give her enough time. She can get pretty scary. So, but uh, they do have yeah. a drunken match for themselves with that said. Yeah, drunken is probably in this spot the, the harder carry. Especially because Legion is working on two sheep stakes, and Keso has almost his. Mm -hmm. And Mickey, since he has pebbles, he will be able to, to farm a lot and we'll probably get it relatively quick as well. Mm -hmm. I still, even though it looks really grim for Hellborn, they have so good initiation and so good team fight that I would not count them out by any means. Like, if, if they get the right Magnus done, they can turn, turn this, this game around, I think. It's just they need two fights of those to, to catch up. Is they need a lot of items. Yeah. Because they don't produce as good. So 31 minutes into the game again. It's uh, They're doing their best to kind of get control of the map right here and farm where they can. Specifically, Wretched Hag at the top side. She's still trying to finish that shrunken head. Um, almost there, of course. Needs the 1,300 gold in total. Excuse me. For the pattern to be finished. Flux obviously has his. You got Magnus. Another 2,000 gold saved over the Mighty Blade. So he, too, is kind of closing in. So... Yeah, these shrunken heads are going to be coming out and very effective against the likes of especially the engineer with that energy field yeah. of his. So, um, yeah. no doubt uh, important for them to have. But uh, we're going to see these next year of items at the same time, though, coming out for Sync. And, you know, they've already okay. got the shrunken heads. Oh, yeah, bottom lane. They're chasing out Magnus down here. Dust comes out as well. The airstrike and just guarantees the kill. They might have been yeah. able to chase him down, but at the same time, maybe not. So. Yeah, it's Magnus. I mean, he has so many escape mechanisms and spells and yeah. items. It's really difficult to actually chase him down. So I, w I would say it's a good decision by Kesu to actually kill him. Mm -hmm. To do a kill steal and get raged at his <laughs> teammates. No. There is <laughs> the sheep that. stick. So now he has that. Um, Drunken Master, obviously, as I said earlier, the demonic breastplate it looks like is going to be coming out as well. So I assume once they finish that, as well as the sheep stick on Pebbles, is probably where we're going to see a uh, all-out uh, onslaught here from Sync Esports. No Congor attempts yet this game. Neither team. Yeah, I think Legion could have done Congor. But they want to go for the safe route, because Congor is like the spot where Hellbomb wants them to be, because mm -hmm. they want to initiate on them. That's the only way they can win, or get a pick-off and then take a fight. But even that is going to be really difficult, because the, the Shrunkens on Pebbles and Drunken are really still really high. That means they, they can do a lot with those Shrunkens in a teamfight and make Hellborn run away for a long time. Yeah. 
So even if Hellborn gets a pick up, it's going to be difficult for them. That's a dead Rhapsody. Oh, yeah. She walked right into the trap right here. Magnus, in the meantime, after the side, bound die. It will spawn him. He's trying to escape right here, but he takes a sheep stick. He's going to be combo down. Oh. Magnus falls in. You could tell Willowkeeper was trying to set up an interesting initiation right there, but that, uh, well, as I say, a lot backfired. <laughs> as Sync just caught them. Yeah, Legion was just at the right spot. Now Hack has the trunk in, and you're like... You can you can argue if it's gonna do that much. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he had if she had Grimoire, okay, Grimoire is more expensive than Shrunken, but okay, mid lane, they're <laughs> well, diving deep. Okay, Holy yeah, shit. big Magmus done as a result. One Shrunken is up though, and that being the Drunken Master, he jumps in as a counter, and Magmus again gonna be taken out. He bought back to do that, and obviously kind of regretting that now. At the same time, Flex in the meantime, that protect him out. He will end up saving him initially. They're gonna chase a little bit, not far enough. Though he goes back to the well, gonna be fine now. Pebbles, he's uh, he's a little bit too far up. He pops a Shrunken at a very good time. The Bat just came out. Mitigates that damage. The arrow, whew, nice tablet on the Engineer right there. Just dodging that. You see the Chuck coming out and the portal key. That was a clever play by Pebbles. Chuck, quick portal key. Helps his teammate, gets himself out of there. And it looks like that will be the end of all that. Again, buyback into another death for Magmus. So they don't get the Rax kill, which is, you know, the good news kind of for Willow Keeper. But still, Sync just continues to do enough to uh, really keep yeah. the pressure on. Yeah, they deny the items from Hellborn, plus they get more items on themselves, so the the further this goes, the more ahead they will get. Um, it was really sad that they couldn't kill anymore, but good escape from, from Legion, like with the Shrunken on Pebbles, that was just really well timed. And really good that he just waited for, with that, like he could have popped early at some situations, but like, mm -hmm. he, he, made, he made the best decision there, definitely. Just to wait for that, for the really important timing. When he needed it. <laughs> Jeez, uh, and Sandy uh, kind of playing that role of the very utility support here has an energizer on top of the portal key. It actually just bought a full astral lab, so really uh, being yeah. a good, great use of the team again. It's farming very well in the secondary support role, and even uh, even Torch on the main support. He's actually going to be building a tablet of command here, as well as he's finishing up a couple of creeps off into the jungle. So. Uh, all across the board, it's safe to say the Legion team in a very, very good spot. Pebbles, he's got that sheep stick just around the corner. Magmus, he might be in trouble right here. He does see them coming. He just portal keyed though, so he just needs to get away, which he will be fine, it looks like. As he, oh, he stuns off to the side, but yeah, they're not going to be, I don't think so at least. Oh my god, keg stun maybe? No, it does not hit, so. Whew. It's good for his sake. He does get away. In the end, but uh, Sync Esports keeping the pressure on. They gonna maybe again just just maybe attempt a little bit of Congo here, not necessarily go all out. Just see how kind of Willow Keeper reacts to it, because like you said, it's very dangerous to fight against this Willow Keeper team in kind of closed territory. But at the same time, hey, not a whole lot else going on, on the map right now, so why not go for it? Yeah. Let's see what happens. See the mine trap off to the side. Uh, only only they four mines there, but. They need to counter what before they actually fight them at Conger. Because mm. they can't get counter counter initiated on. Yeah. It's gonna be their death. And they need to do it right now, otherwise it's gonna be extremely difficult for them to hold against Token. I think they're I mean they obviously they know this is happening and you see the bound out right there from Bombardier it clears up the war decides that they did have in the area. So you see, uh, ooh, the arrow actually hit Drunken Master. Now maybe your time to go, Fanny. There we go. Flux pulls him in. In comes Energy Field to counter, though. Magnus, he stuns in. Congor is still alive. He finally goes down. Who got the token? It looks like Drunken Master did. And that may spell the end here for the Hellborn team. They pick up the cut of Flux. Oh, the mind trap. It finishes off Magnus. He got caught in the mines. Rhapsody will go down. And I wouldn't be surprised if Sink goes cutthroat here and goes for the kill in the end. That, yeah, I mean, if, if, that, that was, that was an attempt. Yeah, that was the five second error and all that was like more or less perfect. Just uh, if Magnus would have been a little bit quicker, a little bit closer, and get uh, got the, uh, the the stun off before Pebbles got shrunken off, that would have been so good for them. Because then they would have finished off the Conqueror before they got out of the stun and get the token and probably killed them. Yeah. But unfortunately, uh, it wasn't the case, and Mickey was too quick with the shrunken. Yeah, you know one of the things that I think we we overlook, especially for a hero we see we have seen just so often. He's he's been around in every meta of the game. Really feels like his pebbles. 
and his uh, oh, just a quick pause right here, quick kick up. Anyways, uh, Pebbles and his his uh, slap skin, uh, his E, his passive, not only with the armor that it provides, but the minus percent debuff reduction. And we just saw a perfect example right there, and it was when the fight was already over, really. But the arrow, the five second arrow, hit him. But, it, you know, only 40% uh, reduction in the time. So, really, it was just over two seconds, really, maybe close to three seconds. But still, it's things like that, and they add up throughout fights. These, these constant stuns that may be happening or the big stun that happens. He's added them a lot quicker than others uh, in, the, in these fights because of that ability. So, I think that's just kind of one of those uh, we don't really think about too often. But Yeah, it's, it's a surprise factor. I, as you mentioned it, it's, it's, like, it's like a surprise pick. Mm -hmm. um, and when you draft, like you don't, you don't know what you expect. And it's the same with slap, slap skin. I played Bomber the year like two weeks ago, and I landed the sticky bomb on the pebbles. Uh, and he was really low. I could have finished him off with ultimate. I was like, okay, we'll just wait for the sticky bomb to run off and <laughs> landed ultimate. And he just ran away. I was like, what? Oh, oh right, slap skin. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a really good point. Actually, I didn't even think about that. So, uh, exactly, that that's more to the point of that how powerful it honestly is. So, well, look at this right here, Valkyrie Prism. They're going for the smoke ink, but I don't think Willow Keeper. Nope, definitely not going to find anything. As... No, but now they can ward up at least. Yeah. Well, I like it's safe for the support to. to some... Oh, they don't have wards. Well, it would have been the ward attempt. They they need to make something happen, and they know. Oh, oh, big. That is yeah. really big. Well, they're gonna get a free kill right here in a. Oh, I, I might have spoke too sure. soon. Free kill, maybe not in the. It comes the flux ball. They're doing everything they can. Finally get the kills. The airstrike comes out. The energy field in the background. He's buying enough time for his team supports to come in, including right there. Wretched Egg pops the shrunken head, though. He will be fine as a result as he TPs out. And now Torture looking to chase down this Valkyrie. She does not ever nice leave. Dodge. Nice dodge indeed from Root of Z. Panty on the Torture. Thought he had the sure stun. Did not. There's a leap coming out. He's going for the TP. It's not going to happen, though. Good attempt, but. Obviously, he falls in the end and actually does drop a bound die, so uh, even a more significant kill right there as a result. But yeah, Willow Keeper uh, doing a lot of just hanging in there long enough kind of tactics. Um, they're keeping themselves in the game, which obviously it's hey, you keep yourself in the game, that <laughs> gives you the chance to win, of course, ultimately. So, but uh, you do yeah, constantly lean back towards sink and having being in a good spot here. I really like what they're doing, like keeping a cool head and trying to surprise the, the Legion side. Um, and just go with sneaky strats to to actually get something out of it. I mean, mm -hmm. that was that was kids who didn't <laughs> know what happened there. Like he was just farming the jungle and didn't expect a gang from that side. So it was the timing was really well made. Yeah. Uh, also with the they they just jumped over the the ancient to the legion jungle, just um, like counter warding before, so they know that le uh, the legion side does not know that they are at that area. And then they, they jumped over there because it's very unlikely as a ward. So it was the big surprise thingy. <laughs> well made by them. Yeah, it definitely was as we do have a more initiation again. Sink Esports going cutthroat here. You see the token of life on Drunken Master. He has that level 3 shield breaker as well. Five second arrow in the background, but again, it's a little bit less because of that slap skin. They need to go for the combo. The wombo combo, but it's not going to be enough. Shrugged heads go up, and the Legion team just way too strong in the end. The energy field also doing a bit of work right there. Of course, uh, again, Willow Keeper, that's one of the better chances they're probably going to get, honestly. And even then, it just did not even come close to happening. So GGs are going to be called here. And that is going to do it for game number one here in this best set of three. Sink Esports will take the first game over Willow Keeper. And, uh, you know, not decisive fashion by any means, but, you know, they had control for really that whole game. It's just Willow Keeper was doing enough, like, like we went back to, to just hang in there long enough and, and try to make the comeback happen. But it, it obviously wasn't to be. So anything... Uh, Anything else standing out to you about that game there, Story Footer? It was quite impressive, uh, impressive that they could hang in there for so long. I mean, usually you know those games where uh, a team like Legion had with, with so much PK initiation from Pebbles and like <laughs> so much kill potential in overall. Yeah. That then the enemy team can hang on to the, against that for so long. So uh, kind of well played on Hellbound's side. They positioned themselves quite well. So. I'm curious what next game will be. It's a best of three, right? Uh, it is a best of three, of course. So, nice. Yeah, cool. looking forward to as as obviously this whole event has been. So, um, Sinky Sports is again going to be up.